What is up designers? Welcome to my Photoshop tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to create this Polaroid effect. Now this is simple and works for every photograph so follow along and let's get started. First of all I will create a new file and the size is going to be 1200 by 1600 pixels. Create and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a random photograph in there. Resize it a little bit and it should be in the middle somewhere like this. First thing you want to do is control or command click the thumbnail of this. So just hold down control or command click the thumbnail of your photograph. Now once you've done that you will see that there's a selection around it. This means that we can do something with it so what we're gonna do is create a new layer. Go ahead and click control or command shift N to create a new layer. Call it Polaroid press OK and now ALT or OPTION backspace. That will simply fill up this space with the whatever color you have right here. Control or command D to deselect the selection and now just drag this layer underneath the photograph. So we have created a white Polaroid so now we need to see it. First of all let's enlarge it so that it is bigger than the photograph. So while on this layer, let's click Ctrl or Command T and then resize it by holding down Shift and Alt. Just drag it up like this. Once you do this, you, you can go ahead and drop this a little bit more just to make it look a little bit more like a Polaroid. And I'm gonna drag this a little bit more down so that these edges also match. Press enter and now we can't really see it because of the backgrounds. So what I'm gonna do is change the color of the Polaroid. Double click the layer of the Polaroid, go to color overlay. If you do not see it, go to effects and color overlay. And once you, once you click here, you should see a little square here showing a color. Click that and select off-white. Off-white simply means slightly more gray so a little bit darker dark, uh, darker than white, if you can say that. So once you've done that, I think this will work. Maybe just slightly brighter color. And press OK. OK again. And now we have this. Now to make it a little bit more realistic, we want to add a shadow to it. The way we do that is very easy. Uh, we're going to duplicate the Polaroid layer. So press Ctrl or Command J. Now we have two layers like this. Now click the one that is below it. So this one and double click it again. Go to color again. And instead of the white that we've chosen, let's select black. Press OK. And now we have a black color underneath. We just make we just need to make it visible. The way we do that is simply transform it again by pressing down Ctrl or Command T. Right click, warp. And let's drag down these corners right here. Drag down this corner as well. And press enter to confirm that. Okay, so now we have a little shadow, but it doesn't really look realistic because it's too strong. So we need to make it a little bit blurry and maybe a little bit more faint. To make it blurry, we simply go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and create a radius of three pixels that will blur the black layer that we have created. Press OK. And now the problem is that we have these edges also blurred so they come come out. Now we don't really want this. The easy way to, to remove this is just to erase them. So go ahead and press E on your keyboard or just simply select the eraser tool here and just start by deleting unnecessary parts. I recommend you use a soft eraser and you can see if it's soft if you right click while selecting the eraser tool and make sure the hardness is set to zero that will make sure that the eraser tool deletes it very smoothly you can also just go ahead and click several times around the edges and that just makes it a little bit more soft and you can also delete the parts underneath 
and there we go now if you really want to make this even more realistic you can add some textures now you can leave it at this point I think it looks good and realistic already but if you really want to make it realistic then you can add some texture so I'm gonna go ahead and put some watercolor texture over this layer resize it make sure it covers the whole Polaroid and just drag it up just below my image here then I'm gonna press alt or option and when you do that this arrow little arrow should appear but your mouse needs to be right in between these two layers once this happens just click left click on your mouse and it should simply make a clipping mask now we have basically put over our texture over it but it's not really visible this is because the color overlay is covering it to get rid of that you simply right click it and rasterize layer style and that will make our texture visible now the texture looks good but it is too much so you can just go ahead and click the texture and reduce the opacity up to a point where you think it is good enough you can then stop or you can add more opacity or less depends on your taste now that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you want to find a watercolor just google it watercolor texture and you will find it i hope you guys learned something new and thanks for stopping by and i'll see you in the next one